we're really going to be focusing on the heart center ICU today. Um, and um, we're going to start just by talking about what kinds of patients we take care of in the heart center, and then also what kinds of procedures we perform there. I'll open it up to whoever wants to take a first stab at that. Uh, if it's okay. You know, yeah. I think we'll that one it. of the um, hallmarks about the MGH cardiac ICU specifically is that we are a very, very high volume cardiac center. And because of the expertise of the surgical staff here, we tend to get patients from kind of all over with very, sometimes very specialized disease, but also, you know, your kind of run of the mill, normal coronary artery disease that get normal bypasses. But we get a lot of patients who are kind of not in that normal cardiac surgical realm. And that makes their perioperative course in the ICU um, a lot more complex, a lot more um, uh, interesting to some degree. Yeah, I think we take care of a mixture of surgical as well as heart failure patients, both pre and post um, transplant. We are lucky here to be able to do heart transplants as well as lung transplants. We do a lot of uh, complex aortic disease as well as adult congenital heart disease. So I think we see a really great mixture of patients and we get to work alongside, like David said, some really excellent surgeons and some really fantastic cardiologists and heart failure uh, physicians and team members. And it makes the uh, care of the patients really well-rounded, and I think. Yeah, it sounds like a really diverse patient population, both in terms of the, their pathophysiology, what their problems are, but also where they're coming from, right? So can, can you tell us a little bit more about, about that? Like, we're getting transfers from other hospitals, sometimes other states. How, how does that function, and what's our role as intensivists in that process? So Mass General is a quaternary care center, which means that we take care of patients um, of basically all severities, but... Um, the difference between the tertiary quaternary is that we also do kind of experimental and or, um, you know, more advanced therapies that other hospitals don't have yet or are still, you know, in development to some degree. And so we get a lot of people from the entirety of the Northeast surrounding area uh, that come here for a variety of, of uh, kind of interventions that simply aren't offered uh, at other places, either because of the expertise or the equipment or the uh, actual personnel available to do so. Yeah, I, I'd say that's definitely one of the strengths that we see here is it's, it's sort of like the end of the line a lot of the time. I've had a lot of patients come here from other hospitals, but I've never had the experience of transferring someone out myself. 